Look at there, look at there, look at there. Ooh. Babe is in the kitchen, you guys. You know what I do every day? Every Babe, day I cook for my family. Babe, you're not even here every day, so stop. Stop with the lies. But when I'm home, I cook for my family. That's nice. You know what I'm saying? That's so nice. You know what? When you home, you don't always cook for your family, but when you do, your family appreciates it. It's, I, I know I do. Everybody else may not. I, I do. So they don't understand how good it feels for someone else to cook for them. But people normally don't cook for me, so it feels good to me, and I really appreciate it. Lately, babe said I've been snapping at him, which I probably have. I'm not saying it's okay. And I have to, like, I don't know what I'm going through, but I've been snapping a lot lately. It's not good. I'm like touching bases with him, trying to figure out like, what do we need to do to tighten things up or to get things back on track or what's missing. You know, even though we're very affectionate to one another, I think that we need a little bit more romance in our life. I think it's time for some romance and um, it's kind of hard because he's on the road all the time. When he gets home, he's tired. And now that I'm working, like, during the week, when he comes home, we just both tired. Like, we make it through the week, and the weekends, we are burnt out. And I think it's, it's like, normal. Right? Is that a bug? Where? I think it's normal for couples to go through that, but I think it's also important to acknowledge, like, when you do, so that you could, my battery's about to die. But that's okay, because I got back up. But anyways, I think it's important that when you do realize it's happening, that you take control and to, you know, just get a grip on things. Right, babe? All right. It's important. Get that grip. It's very important. Yeah. I don't mean to be snappy snappy, but I feel like I told him there's things that you do that irritates me too. So we both have to work on a few little things, even though we love each other dearly. And we don't argue. I mean, we do have arguments, but we're not a, we don't argue. We did that before um, in previous relationships, and we vowed to one another that that would not be our lives. So um, our relationship works, but there are things that we could, like, work on, you know, to make things a little bit tighter and fresher in our relationship. So I think it's time, and this season that we're in is the perfect time to start. So it's Valentine's. Um, the season of love so we're gonna start doing more things together to um you know bring things um back or put things back on track with us because i feel like there is it's not like a disconnection but we're missing something you know what i mean we're missing it so if you guys are experiencing that bring it on back snatch it on up because marriage is forever and when things get rough that's your your cue or if you, things feel off, that's your cue to fix it because everything needs tuning, like your car, or instrument, um, things like that. So sometimes we just have to realign and tune in. So that's what we're gonna be doing. My camera is getting ready to die, so I gotta change the battery. All right guys, time for the truth. I went to the Dollar Tree and Walmart and I came back to this. Ooh wee. That looks delicious. Babe, that looks so good. Really good, huh? Mm-hmm. You tried it. Mm -hmm. Came home just in time, you guys. Let's see. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like butter, baby. Ooh, Ooh wee. wee. Don't give me all the dry, hard up pieces. Oh, this is all oh, that is like butter, baby. So what'd you do? Because we missed out on some stuff. I missed out on some steps while I was gone. I just seared it real good. Mm -hmm. Threw it in the oven at 400. You broiled it? No. Nah, I baked it. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Look at them juices. What that? Let me see them. Do it again. What that? What a juice is that? Mm -hmm. Yes, looks nice and good and season. Is it seasoned to perfection? You have to try and see. But yeah. <sighs> we'll see. So you guys, I went to Dollar Tree and I went to Walmart because I need to get this together. That situation over there is, ugh, ugh. I'll show you guys what I got. I just got a few things. I ended up buying some um, chalk because I think I am just gonna go ahead and draw 
on there because every time um, I think that I have to go to like, is it FedEx or you know, like the printing stores where they print stuff out like I did the last time on that other chalkboard, it just takes too long and it'll probably never get done. So I'm gonna try to wing it with chalk. But anyways, I got these cute little picks from Walmart. How cute. And I got some chalk. They didn't have regular chalk, so I ended up grabbing like chalk sidewalk, sidewalk, sidewalk chalk. <laughs> Try to say that. But anyways, I got this. This was like two dollars and ninety something cent, and you get thirty two sticks. That was a great deal. And I got some um, paper straws for Valentine's. They have like um, hearts on one, and then just a pink and red on the others. Um, I grabbed Amari some crayons because he's in art class and that's something that's on his list that he needs. And then I grabbed some of this Waverly um, chalk paint so that I could um, try to start painting that other chalkboard thing so Babe could hang that up. And I just grabbed some more of these little hearts from the Dollar Tree. You get like eight, eight pieces in here, uh, two red, two white, and two pink. And I got some red ribbon, some little hearts, cause I think I wanna make like a little garland for my desk at work. So I got those small ones for that. And you guys, I grabbed a few, just a pack of these little eggs because this little Dollar Tree that's by our house is horrible. Like it's really bad, but I just grabbed a few items. They didn't have a whole lot to pick from, so. I just got what I got and left. And I grabbed these little eggs because they probably won't have none when it's time to use them, which I should have probably grabbed two. But maybe they will have some, I don't know. But anyways, you guys, I'm back home. I'm about to eat some of this steak babe created and try to um, do this chalkboard and see how that turns out. Hopefully I'll do a good job. Is this mine? Mm -hmm. Look at this little piece he gave me. Look at his plate. She's not gonna even eat that. I got gyps. <laughs> she ain't gonna even eat that. Let's see. We're gonna see. It does look good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and baby, you did a good job seasoning that. I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, this is really good. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> All you gotta do now is lay down and let me season you tonight. Oh my God. Praise be Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Hmm? You said I'm all right. Yeah. I'm already loves steak like his daddy. You better come get some. Or it's gone. Love you, uh, hello. Love you said I'm here. I'm here now. Take off my shoes. Love you, like, uh, hello. <laughs> I'm getting some steak, huh? So you guys, I am going to attempt to free hand draw on this chalkboard. I have a picture here of what I want. Hold on, this is what I wanna draw. So I'm gonna try and get that on here. Um, I don't, I think it's gonna be harder than what I think, but I'm gonna just try it and see what happens.
we never felt before Yeah, I don't mind taking my time Let's stay in this bed now Never get out Cause I would love wasting time with you, baby Cause I know So look how it turned out. I think it looks really good. At first I was really trying to focus on getting those lines straight and using the this little, um, but what is this thing called? This leveler to make sure everything was together and neat and I just couldn't do it because I feel like it was just taking up too much time and messing me up. So I just decided to wing it. But right now, what I wish I would have done was just take the, um, chalk and just kind of went over the board to give it that old chalkboard look so i'm trying to do that a little bit around the areas and then just dust it off and actually i really like the way this this chalk works on here it's, it's really easy to use and i like how it wipes away easily as well so Yay, I'm excited. I'm so happy. Tell me in the comment section what you guys think. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to finish doing this. I won't bore you guys with this part, but when it's all done, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So that's what it looks like so far. Guys, so I'm working hard to get my Valentine's Day section together. Let me show you what it's looking like so far. So that's how it's, I put my little fairy lights at the top and there's my sign. So now I'm gonna work on my uh, three tier tray and I'm gonna use mostly all of the items that I got um, or that I have from Christmas, but just changing a few things in and out, you know, just to make it for Valentine's. So I'm super excited about how it's looking so far. Girl, you should wear a name tag. Your vicious presenting. Girl, you should wear a name tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Let's go. Summer's gone. I'm latching on. Don't even know your name, but you're still in my head. Underneath rays of gold. So close. No, I can't forget. No. All right, guys. So this is what it's looking like over here so far. I feel like I need to add some little candies and stuff like that to the table or to the buffet. But so far, I'm liking it. And here's my three-tier tray, my Valentine's tray, you guys. Shout out to Tati for giving me the Ray Dunn Mine and Yours cups. They go really well in my tray. And I have um, my little straws there with my heart picks, the red and white ones. And then in my mini um, cup there, there's some um, marshmallows that I saved from Christmas. And the uh, little hearts that didn't come all the way out here, I decided to use them for like maybe like some sprinkles on the um marshmallows at least that's what it looks like then i have my little tassel or my beaded uh garland with little tassel on the end i have my red and white towel i have a little heart pick standing up there there's my yours cup i added some little roses in the back and then i added this little canister that i got last year from target dollar spot and then i added my little heart tray or bowl that i got from the goodwill you guys and just put some little marshmallows in there until i can get some of the uh heart treats or the you know the candies with the little sayings on them 
so yeah i'm in love with how my chalkboard turned out oh my gosh i was so nervous doing this but it turned out really nice and i'm so happy i didn't throw this frame away because you guys i wouldn't be able to have this much fun doing this stuff here so anyways you guys this is gonna end the video for tonight i did something wrong here i didn't finish that area right there so i'm gonna go back and add the lines to there so then when I add whatever else I'm going to add to my um, buffet, I'll be sure to show you guys because there's a few pieces of Ray Dunn that I saw that I do want. We'll be sharing that with you guys soon. So anyways, don't forget to thumbs this video up, comment down below what you think, and also subscri subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And you guys, also do not forget to follow me over on my social media which is in my description box on Instagram. I'm life underscore with underscore London underscore. And on Facebook, I'm just London Davenport. So thank you guys again. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.